Hi, I'm Chad from Venture RV. Today we are looking at the 336 VRK Sport Trek Touring. A uh, couple things here to get started. Of course, all of our Sport Treks and Tourings are built on a huck bolt frame. Um, full front cap up front with a window, of course, automotive glass, uh, two-tone paint there. As we start walking back from the front of the coach to the back of the coach, a couple things to point out is, of course, power tongue jack comes with everything. You got your battery disconnect down here underneath the, the, the cap here. Um, you've got some nice light that shows the Sport Trek Touring name there on the front windshield. As we come around to the door side here, of course, slam latch baggage doors. Completely finished pass-through storage all the way through. Then we come to your power stab jacks that come on touring. Power stab jacks come standard on your Sport Trek tourings. What we've done a little bit different than most is each jack has its own independent switch. So you'll have one for the front side left, one for the front right, all independent. And then when you go to the back of the coach, same thing. A couple other things to point out here as we're looking at the exterior, you'll notice that we have two awnings on this unit. Reason being is on the door side, whenever we have a slide out that's on the door side, we try to put a legless awning on it. So you're not losing any of your space underneath your awning uh, when you're setting up you know, camp or setting up your tables and all that good stuff, coolers. A lot of people will actually have one awning and you'll lose that space underneath the awning. So on this model here, the 336, we've gone with your standard power awning here up front. And then as you get back to that slide out here, you actually have a legless awning, uh, which is a higher end awning, but we put the legless awning on it uh, due to the fact that, is it, that it is on a slide out. Um, on this floor plan, we wouldn't be able to put an awning on it and have that big of a baggage door and, and window there. So we use the legless awning there. And also, whenever you have a slide out and there's a leg, uh, an awning there, we do the legless so you don't accidentally run into the legs, bump it, that kind of stuff. Um, of course, as we're looking here at the front door, you've got your screenshot, screen door, just like your storm door closure at home. It automatically will close if the unit's level. You've got your easy flip up more ride steps with the big step here at the top. That was a change here recently. Very easy to operate. All you've got to do is flip it up in and then bring it down, same thing. And another nice adjustment that they've made is now you just push this and you can adjust the, the legs independently if you're on uneven ground. As we come around here to the slide out, you'll notice a large outdoor kitchen. Um, this does not have a place for a TV in this outdoor kitchen, but it does have a cable hook up here. So if you wanted to put a smaller TV on the countertop, you can, or on the table underneath, of course. You've got your bigger dorm style fridge, two burner cooktop, of course, comes standard. Quick connect LP line connect to the back end of that and then of course to the quick connect on the actual coach itself. Um, as we continue to walk around to the back of the coach, you'll notice this window here. All of your windows on Sport Trek Touring are the frameless style windows. Been using them for years. As we come around to the back again, you'll see two switches here, independent switch for each rear power jack. We come around to the back, you'll see where we've kind of tucked the bumper in now, and we've gone with a two inch receiver. So you can, uh, there's several different options that you could get aftermarket, you can get a cargo rack, you can get a bike rack. Um, a lot of people will put a small trailer back there, that kind of stuff, but it's a two inch receiver, so you can, all sorts of different uh, options that you can use there. Of course, it comes prepped and wired for Furion backup camera. 
That is also standard. Uh, little things that we've done on the back end here, of course, new, new tail lights with reverse lights built into them. So just like your vehicle, when the truck that you are pulling this unit goes in reverse, these reverse lights will come on so people behind you actually know that you're going in reverse. Um, cable and satellite prep, also standard. You come around to the off door side here, of course, you'll see that we have an outside shower on everything, black tank flush on everything. The outside shower has hot and cold water. And one of the things, if I can get Karina to, to work with me here, that I want to point out about this huck bolt frame is something that we do different is our, your gate valves are actually in the side of the frame, which now makes these gate valves heated and enclosed. These are the things that are always usually out in the element and catching all the cold air. By putting them up here, your gate valves will not freeze.